the first time I ever went to a firearms class, I didn't know anything. There's people in the classroom who were experienced. The instructor knew us, uh, knew my dad, or uh, sorry, not my dad. It was another buddy of mine who was, who was taking this class. We drove all the way down to San Jose. Uh, this, the, the two instructors are very well known in the community for being very good. So I knew one of them from my Taekwondo days. Happy to be in the class. I got into the class and total newbie, right? So I'm learning the basics and I like to like learn the basics of the basics. I was, I was not very proficient when I started. I knew the basic stuff, but it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't actually super good yet compared to, especially compared to the other people in the class. And they have this drill at the very end. And I use this as my own proficiency test now where they put the bullseye at 25 yards and it's the end of the day and you're tired. This has been eight hours of training already. End of the day, the bullseye is uh, six inches big and it's 25 yards away. And in order to pass the test, nine out of your 10 shots have to hit the bullseye. The first time it happens, you're like, Oh, can I do that? Like that is, that's a, it's not an easy task. And I can tell you by a lot of people who go to the range that that is an almost impossible task for 80% of people who show up. So we do it and I'm nervous about it. And I believe I got like seven out of 10. Like it wasn't the nine out of 10 passing. Some people who were more experienced did, did pass the test. And then I remember I, I, being competitive. I wanted to pass, I, I wanted to do better because I, I'm competitive, I don't like being mediocre. That's how I got good at Taekwondo. So what I started doing was every time I went to the range, my opening drill and my closing drill at the range, I don't go to the range and I just shoot rounds for fun. I think that's that's really bad practice. That's, uh, that's like you're studying for a driving test and all you do is do donuts and you swerve around parking lots. Like you're not gonna pass a driving test like that. You have to be proficient with the vehicle, with the tool that you're using. I believe you should be good with your firearm. So I actually train certain techniques and drills to be good with a firearm. I don't just shoot rounds for fun. Like I don't, I don't drive around in circles for fun. Anyway, long story short, my first drill and my last drill, whenever I start at the range, for the next two months, was I put the bulls at 25 yards and I take the 10 shots and I see where I'm at. And at the end of the day, same thing, 25 yards, 10 shots. And now I, like when I put a bullseye at 25 yards, if I've been training, like if I went to the train, if I went to uh, the range within the last two, three weeks, I know that it's probably gonna be like a 10 out of 10, nine out of 10 hit. If I haven't been there for like a month, sometimes that drops to about like an eight. And so I know that to maintain proficiency, I have to go to the range at least once a month to maintain that nine out of 10 proficiency. And it doesn't make me nervous. Sometimes I'll throw that thing back there and, or I'll be with another training group and they'll, we'll put it, they'll put it back at 25 yards and like, oh, I'm not sure if I can hit that. But because I've done it so many times already, the nervousness has went away. The self doubt of, oh, can I do this? Can I do this? Can I do this? Goes away. So whatever you're trying to do, if you're trying to start your own company, if you're trying to go freelance, if you're trying to learn guitar, whatever it is, understand that as you do it more and more often, the self doubt will go away. That's something my mentors were reminding me today. That's something that uh, the communities I'm in and the circles I'm talking to reminded me about today also. So thank you guys for, for uh, having my back. But understand and remember that no matter what you're trying to do, the self doubt is normal. And all of that nervousness is normal. And then as you do it more and more and more and more, it just becomes a, oh yeah, that's just what happens when I show up. This is what happens. This is the stuff I produce. This is what I deliver. This is what I can expect of myself. Because sometimes that bullseye seems far away and then you practice and you practice, and you practice, and then it just becomes your standard. So that's my message for you guys today. Even if you're feeling the self doubt, go out and do it anyway. I'm posting this video, I may not have time to make it a, a thumbnail because I'm doing a lot of stuff here on the computer and grinding away right now and I need to sleep because I also have a workout tomorrow morning. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. Like and subscribe if you guys like this stuff and see you tomorrow.